Hi there, it's Charlotte Robinson, president of the Thunder Bay Chamber of Commerce. And I know that a lot of businesses are wondering what kind of funding is available to support them right now in this uh, third lockdown. So I just wanted to go through a reminder quickly of some of the funding programs that maybe uh, you haven't taken advantage of, or maybe uh, you don't know that they've changed and previously you were maybe not eligible for them when they originally were announced. So uh, first of all, let's look at some federal supports. The Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy does continue and provides a wage subsidy for your staff to, uh, that is uh, comparable to the amount of revenue loss that you have uh, from the previous year. So definitely if you have staff on uh, site right now, you should be looking at that to help support their costs. The Canada Emergency Rent Subsidy. So again, this is a revision to a program uh, which, does, which allows the tenant to apply for subsidy towards their rent. That rent subsidy is geared to your revenue loss, same as the emergency wage subsidy, but it is also got a top up option for any businesses that are in a lockdown situation like we are now. So there is an additional amount of money that you will receive to support your rent costs uh, based on us being in lockdown. Also a quick note, even if you own your business, the rent subsidy does have some supports available for your overhead costs for your property. So definitely take a look at that. The Canada Emergency Business Account. So this is a loan that is available from the government with a, uh, a portion of it is uh, going to be provided as a free grant if you pay it back by the end of 2022. So do note that the, uh, the payment back, the back payment date has been extended to the end of next year, not this year. So if you were maybe hesitant about taking on that loan now, uh, might be a chance to take a quick look at it one more time. I uh, also want to make you aware of the Canada Recovery Benefit. So this is a uh, replacement to the previous CERB uh, and does provide uh, income support to those who are not working, but maybe are not eligible for EI. And it is a $500 per week uh, cost or uh, uh, support program. Quickly on the provincial supports, the Ontario Small Business Support Grant, those applications are still open until the end of the month and uh, beginning at $10,000 and up to $20,000 is available for businesses that are affected by lockdown or business restrictions. Also on that program, uh, that same page is information about the property tax and energy cost rebates. And that, uh, as we understand it, will be available through this additional period of lockdown. So you should be able to get a percentage of your property tax and energy cost rebate uh, for this uh, additional closure. There's also a number of other programs there that you might want to take a look at. But those are the top programs that, uh, that most businesses um, may be eligible for if you are a small business, if you are uh, seeing a loss in revenue. So I hope that this is helpful information. And please do call our office if we can be of any assistance. 624-2626. Thanks so much and do take care.